Now back to Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. So they keep making scary, making scary movies out of childhood happy movies. Um, the Grinch is now going to be a, a, a horror movie just like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Man, I'm not a fan, but I got to say, I love scary. I really love scary movies. Really? Yeah. I They they freak me out, and but I just love the the adrenaline, the thrill of it. You know, like haunted houses really freak me out, but oh, I, I love it. to go to them. So you just do it to yourself. But there was one movie growing up that we watched that freaked me out for years. And I think like everybody growing up, when you'd watch like one scary movie, you'd have sleepovers and let's get the, what was it? Uh, what's that board? Ouija, oh, Ouija board. Ouija yeah. board. Like, oh God, let's do all this. You want to f- get freaked out. And I did all of it and it was whatever and let it go. But there was one movie that stuck with me for years, years and still today. Scream. Candyman. Candyman. I don't know. The original, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't watch this one, the new one. I just couldn't do it. It was something with the bees in the in the bathroom, in the toilet, or whatever it was. Oh. But that movie freaked me out for years. I watched it at my, my friend Jenna's house when we were probably like 11 or 12 years old. You guys shrieking? We went upstairs into the bathroom and said Candyman in the mirror with the lights off. And then that was it. I'm like, all right, he's with me now for good. This is crazy. <laughs> and, and I and it just <laughs> stuck with me. We watched so many scary movies growing up. Her birthday is would a lot of the time land on. She, her, she was a um, 13th, so it, uh, Friday the 13th. Yeah. We're like, gotta watch scary movies. And <laughs> it was just that was the movie that really did me in for a very long time. The rest of them I watched and moved on, but that one just stuck with me. I don't know why. That, that, that one horror movie, that one scary movie that still sticks with you to this day. 702-597-1027. I, I was born on uh, I was born on the 13th. I, I never celebrated by watching a scary movie. I hate scary movies with mm-hmm. a passion. Scary movie, I watched. I enjoyed it. One, oh, yeah. one and two. Mm-hmm. A scary movies? No. I just, I there's something I get freaked out. And I think it like there's a childhood trauma. I was like five or six and my mom and I were staying over at a friend's place. And I think everyone was asleep, but I was downstairs watching TV for whatever reason. I was playing Nintendo and the Nintendo turned off and there were two channels back in the day. There was the pay-per-view channel, Mm -hmm. which would just show you previews of the stuff on pay-per-view. And there was like the preview channel, which would have that slow scrolling bar would let you know what was on what channel. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kids, ask your parents. Yeah. So... Uh, the uh, it was on the pay-per-view channel for whatever reason and all that played on this was the the Freddy Krueger part whatever mm. Friday the 13th Freddy Krueger deal the preview for this kept replaying and I kept watching it on this big tube TV in this dark room in horror yeah that like wow that is evil <laughs> So that's, and Freddy's the one that like, you can't go to sleep or that's when he gets you, right? So you're yeah. like, God, got to stay awake, got to so, stay awake. So, and, and we watch those ones too. And those ones are very, that one's pretty creepy. The cl- It never, never freaked me out as at all. Even the new one, it's still, I, I, I watched it. I'm like, I don't know, it's kind of stupid. The screams, the the Jasons, you know, those ones I, I, I watch and, it, and it actually enjoy them yeah but candy man the other one when i was older was the one uh with the family the little kid oh gosh not amityville horror um i'll have to look it up but there was one and, and the ghost was in the house and it would like pull the blankets off when the the parents were sleeping it'd go in the baby's room and all this and oh, i would wake ghost dad that's what bill cosby no no different okay not that one i don't watch horror movies. um and i was <laughs> So freaked out the next day because I had watched it in bed. Um, my husband fell asleep and I was on the edge of the bed watching this small TV, <laughs> watching this movie. And then it like shut off or something. And I was so freaked out. I woke up in the morning and I was like, did you open the cupboard? Did you shut the cupboard? Did you open the door? Because everything oh, that was man. a little bit out of place, I yeah. thought like for sure we had a ghost. We didn't. But turns why, out, but. why would you inflict I don't that know. pain on yourself? I don't know. I, I, I really enjoy scary movies. Ugh. It's just the aftermath. It's the aftermath that scares me. Yeah, no, that's all. That's see, that's the thing. I, and the thing I, is, yeah, like I watch 20, 20, 48 hours, Dateline, watch all of that. And that was like true, true crime. That doesn't scare me. It's Candyman with the bees in the toilet. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Bees suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh God. I just, I just have a rule. Like, I won't dedicate 
two hours of my day or $15 of my money to feel worse. <laughs> you just can't. Although, yet again, I'll eat all you can eat sushi and then, uh, you know, feel terrible after.